Hello, everyone. Hello, YMCA members and any non-YMCA members who may be watching or tuning into the Central YMCA YouTube channel. It's Declan here. Um, I work with the older adult groups at the Central YMCA and um, the aim of today's session is to do a reasonably um, moderate intensity kind of strength training workshop. Um, so it's going to be around sort of 30 minutes long, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, it just depends on how much I can fit in, but I'm going to aim to work the whole body. So legs, chest, shoulders, biceps, triceps, the whole body workout. Make sure you've had something to eat before you do the workout, please. Uh, and have a bottle of water close by as well, if you need to drink. I think mine's in the back in the corner there. Um, and make sure you've got some space in the room. So whether you're in your bedroom, lounge, I can't see your living space, just make sure you've got space to move around because we're going to do a little bit of moving in the warm up. Um, I've got a chair over there as well because we may need to use that for some of the exercises. It's an option. Um, and I'm also going to ask that you have um, a book, preferably a soft book, fairly thick, but that much thick, uh, and a lemon or an apple or anything. Um, that you can throw, um, and uh, some cans. I'm going to use these as resistance. You can use weights if you have hand weights at home. That's fantastic. Use them, please. Um, and you can also use um, bottles of water if that's more preferable for you for any reason, if your grip needs something um, a little bit easier than a can. So just feel free now. Any injuries you have, um, just work with them. I'll give some modifications where I can. So listen out for them, um, but let's get started. It's gonna be a fun workout. I hope you're all doing well and keeping safe uh, indoors. And um, uh, if you can get out and have a little bit of exercise, that's great as well. But we're gonna start the workout now. So I'm gonna move back so I can be in the frame. Now I'm in bare feet, you don't have to be. Um, we're gonna do some work just on strengthening ankles and working toe joints, which is why I'm in bare feet. It's optional. If you prefer to be in shoes, that's fine as well, all right? So I'm marching on the spot. If you haven't joined in already, join in now. So marching on the spot just to warm up. Slight bend in the elbows. Make sure that the spine is lengthened and the chest is lifted, all right? So from the side, the spine is nice and strong and the abdominals are starting to contract in. So you've got that tight belt feeling wrapped around the waist. I've got a bit of music going on in the background. It's not essential. You can put your own music on, but just to get in the mood. I'll show that up in a few minutes. For now, from here, legs out. Start to move slightly faster. Legs out. Move them in. Legs out. Move them in. Lovely work. And again, take them out. Last one. From here, stomach tight. So you can take the arms into a side reach or option two, hands on hips, just do the leg movement. I want you to focus on pointing your toes. So the toes are pointing, ankle is opening. Keep that pace. Start to move the arms forward and back. Good, nice. All right, from here, we're gonna take it into a heel dig. So start to tap your heels down. Once you've got the leg movement right, bicep curl. Good, now from the side, that's the pace. Tap the heel down, forward again. Get the elbows moving, get the ankles moving. In three, two, one, march it out. Shake up the hands, move your wrists a little bit here, get rid of any stiffness around those areas. Start to lift the knees. Keeping abdominals tight, drawing pelvic floor from back to front. So remember pelvic floor is the muscle that you use to stop yourself from going to the loo. It helps just to kind of stabilize the torso and support the back muscles. So just keep that engaged throughout the class. I'll keep reminding you. Start to lift the knees a little higher. And a little bit higher, and your option is always to take them a little lower if you need to. Slightly out to the side, and release, shake it out. Excellent. From here, option one, just go back to a side tap, make the move bigger. Option two, step touch. 
So nice and easy. Arms are still moving. Or again, hands on your hips. Keep doing this. I'm going to turn the music up a little bit. Good, nice. Stay at that pace. Now, from here, we're going to change this into a hamstring curl, heel to bum. Get the knees moving. As you do that, the arms start to pull in towards the side of the body. Palms are facing up, just getting the shoulders to move and the upper back to move. So from the side, that's the pace. This is mobilizing the knee joints, getting upper back shoulders to start moving a little bit more. Face forward again. Lovely. Now you can keep this pace or you can start to pick it up a little bit faster. Keep the breath nice and even. And then from here, shake it out. Knee raise, opposite elbow, opposite knee. All right. Low intensity option is just to tap. That's your first option. Option two, rotate through the upper body. Slight rotation here, just to get the body moving. Good work, keep that pace. You can add a little bit of a hop if you like. Those of you who are going for a higher intensity pace, lift, lift, Lift. And then from here, shake it out. Take the legs out, a little wider than hip width apart, start to move the hips. Take the arms up, fingers open, palms face forward, little bounce. Now from here, we're going to simply do a rotation side, centre, side, centre. Rotating through the spine. Before three, two, and one. Well done. Check it out. Reach to the side, up, lower. So again, lateral flexion for the spine. Keep the knees soft. Slide down for three, for two, one. Well done. March it out. Option one. Second set, step touch. A little bigger now. Should be feeling a little warmer. Heart rate should be coming up a little bit now. Option two, side reach, side tap. So you can always choose which aerobic move you wanna do. This is just getting everything moving now, getting the heart, up, up, heart rate up, blood pumping to the muscles, the joints. Last four, three, two, and one. Well done, shake it out, all right. So hopefully you're feeling a little warmer. Just keep the legs moving. Coming up, we're gonna start working the lower body first, and we're gonna incorporate some exercise of the upper body as well. But for now, find your book. We're going to get the inner thighs engaged, all right? So, place the book between the knees, yeah? You should be able to see how my knees are drawing in, yeah? Now, from here, chest is up. All I want you to do here, keep your eye line fixed forward, hands on hips, calf raise up, lower down. Start to really think about squeezing the book in so you feel your inner thighs working and your glutes, your buttocks, start to tighten. So it's a calf raise, a little bit of balance as well here. So it's important not to look down, because that's gonna to tend to be where you want to go. Keep your eye line forward, chin is parallel, heels lift. Now those of you who are more adventurous here, you can reach up, lower, up, lower. Don't hunch the shoulders, it's a gliding movement. You reach, lower. Reach, keep squeezing that book in. Feel the inner thighs switching on. You can see the lovely sunshine behind me, but I'm inside. 
Keep it going. Reach. Coming up, we're going to stay on tiptoes and balance. If you fall out, smile, get back in, all right? On the next one, hold, balance here. Breathe. You can do a little pulse. If it's too much with the arms up, drop them down. Hands on hips, third option. Feel the calves starting to wake up. And lower, well done. Now, keep the book there, make some adjustments if you need to. Gentle squat, keeping the book there. Tighten the glutes, the buttocks in. Draw the abdominals in. Think of the chair behind you. And using the book to work the inner thighs, you're gonna simply lower, lift. Lower, reach the arms forward, lift. Hands on hips if you prefer, lower. And lift. Or again, reach the arms forward. Draw back in. Arms reach. And you lift. Make sure you're pushing up through your heels as you lift up. Squeeze your buttocks in at the top. So you lift. Slow on the way down. Keep tight through the inner thighs. You should be squeezing that novel in. For three. Or that book, rather. Last one if you can, hold it here and pulse it out. Four, three, two, one. Well done, shake it out, shake out the legs. So hopefully you felt that on the inner thighs, hopefully in the glutes, in the quads, yeah? And in the core as well, all right? So ordinarily you would do around two sets of those of around eight to 12 reps, depending on how you were feeling at the time, all right? But always keep one of these handy. Do these in the kitchen, wherever you are with doing some housework, just to get your adductors working, all right? So we're gonna come back to that in a sec. Now pick up your lemon or your apple. So just or a ball, if you have a ball. A little bit of reaction time now. One hand catch, one hand catch, one hand catch. You can lift it up, you can bend the knees as it comes down. Just take about 30 seconds now, just to focus on the catch, spread your fingers out, throw it up. So a nice simple one to do, just works that reaction time. Keep breathing, keep focus, keep core muscles tight, throw it up, get the heart rate up, bend the knees, push the hips back. Reach it up. If you have a wall and you've got a ball, you can throw it against the wall and play catch. See how many times you can catch in the space of a minute or two. So make it a challenge. You've got about 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Brilliant. Coming back to that in a second. Right. Focusing on upper body now, we're going to work with our resistance. So again, like I said, you can use weights if you've got them, you can use cans, you can use whatever you want. Start with your feet in line or just slightly wider than hips. Turn your toes in. Now from here, we're going to work side of shoulders, the lateral raise, soft knees. You reach side, lower down. Slow on the way up, you hold and then you lower down slowly. So the arms come to shoulder height, release. Lift, lower, keep going, good. Lift, lower, single arm now. You lift, doesn't matter if it's left or right, lower. Alternate please, lift, lower. You don't have to use weights or cans. You can do all of this without, if you prefer. I should have said that at the beginning. But you can always modify these exercises. Together now, please. Five more. You lift and you lower. Those wanting to make it harder, add a calf raise. That's an option. You don't have to do it. Heels lift and you lower. Three more. Lift, lower. Two more, please. Lift, lower. One more. Reach, release. Fantastic. Shake it out. Hold on to the weights or the hands or whatever you've got. All right. Frontal raise. This time round, working front of shoulder, front of chest. 
feet in the same position, in line with hips or a little wider. Soft knees. Now from here, reach forward, lower. So the arms come in line with shoulders, you lower down from the side. That's the move. Slow, keep the abs drawing in. Lift, lower. Good work. Reach. Now single arm. Any arm first, please. Alternate. Lift, lower down. Lift, lower down. Lift, lower down. Back together now, both arms facing forward now, reach, release. Your last one is coming up. Just hold at the top, breathe for three, two, one. Well done, shake it out. All right, from here, we're gonna all combine those two now. Have a look. Soft knees, from here, reach side, lower down, reach forward. So again, you can play with this one a little bit. You can alternate or just do separate sets of frontal raise, lateral raise. The slower the movement, the more you are going to be working those muscles. So never ever move the hips. Keep your spine neutral and keep the abs tight. Three more, lovely everyone. Two more and one and release. Fantastic. All right, let's get the heart rate up again a little bit. Shake up the hands, move your wrists now. They might be feeling a little bit stiff enough because you've been holding on to things, so just shake them out. A little bit of cardio here. Option one, low intensity. You do your side taps like that. Your second option here, a little bit of a light run on the spot, just to loosen everything up. You can be on a carpet here, but please be mindful of not slipping on anything. So just give yourself a little bit of a shake up here, running on the spot. Breathing into it, about 20 to 30 seconds of this. Keep nice and tall, keep the shoulders lifted, chest elevated, so no rounding of the spine, and then release, shake up the legs. All right, core engagement, balance. For this, if you need to come to a chair, by all means, or if you have a wall handy, have a hand on the wall. All I want you to do is simply lift, one leg off the floor and balance, simple. What you need to focus on is making sure you are lifting up. The thigh is contracted and the glute, the buttock is tight. So focus on lifting, breathe into it. Feel the ankles really working here. You might feel the toes gripping a little bit, working the smaller joints. For three, for two, Draw the abdominals in, pelvic floor tightens, and release. Shake it out. When you are ready, lift the other leg up. Thigh tight, butt up tight. Lift and breathe. Nice and strong. Chest is lifted. Eye line is focused forward. Never ever look on the floor and look directly ahead of you. Focus on a still point. Thigh is tight. Pelvic floor is pulling in. Ribs are drawing down. You've got a corset wrapped around the waistline for three, for two, and one. Shake it out. Shake it out. Kick the legs. Shake out. Okay, so that worked for core muscles. And you can do that single leg balance any time of the day when you're washing up. Balance on one leg and do the washing. Maybe eight seconds on one leg, eight seconds on the other. Build up to doing 10 seconds, build up to 15. So you make it a challenge every time you do it. Keep everything strong so the thigh is contracted, all right? It's tight. And the butt of the glute is tight as well. And everything here is tight, all right? We're gonna do abduction now to work the outer thighs. We've worked the inner thighs, so let's balance it out. Now for this one, you may need to have a chair handy. That's absolutely fine if you need one. What I want you to focus on here is first get your posture right. The leg is gonna to extend to the side. So from here, lift, bring it in. Lift, bring it in. Easy here. 
So no leaning over. The upper body remains still. You keep it nice and easy. Toes point up. Your ankle is flexed. You can see in the camera how my toes are pointing up to the ceiling. Good. You should feel the outer thigh working here and the supporting leg should also be working hard. And you can challenge yourself and let go. Two more. Hold if you can. Release. Now I want you to just do this move. Open up that hip. Do a couple of hip circles. You can make them as big as you want or keep the foot down and just do a gentle move in and out to the side just to loosen up the hip joint. So we're going to move the chair to the other side now. So again, the chair is an option, but I want it in the camera. So those of you who need it, it's absolutely fine to use it. Re-engage. Heel down, toes up, chest lifted, spine long. You lengthen out, draw back in. Hand on hip if you like, or arm to the side. Toes pointing up, slow on the way in. Try and keep the foot off the floor if you can. So lift it out, release. Lift it out, release. Two more. On the last one here, hold out, breathe. Balance if you feel comfortable. Four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Same thing here. Do a little hip opener here. Just kind of loosen up here a little bit. And again, depending on any injuries or conditions, you might want to just keep the foot down and do that, which is fine. Just loosen up the hip a little bit. Might be feeling a little tight. Excellent. Right. Shake it out. Fantastic. All right. Getting rid of the chair again, everyone. So just be aware of conscious space around you again. All right, so we've worked out of thighs. We've worked our quads, our hamstrings, and our glutes already, and core engagement and balance and reaction time. Coming back to the upper body, all right? We're gonna work upper back shoulders, biceps, front of the arm, triceps, back of the arm. Holding onto weights or hands again, or once again, you don't have to use anything. Demonstrating from the side, one leg forward, one leg back. Bounce it out. Now, hinge forward from your hips. Take the arms forward. Narrow rows, release. So you are pulling them in, release. Eye line is forward. Slight more of a lean forward here if you can, but keep the lower back lengthening up. Squeeze shoulder blades together. You pull. Release. Pull. Release. Pull. Release. Two more, please. Pull. Release. Last one. Fantastic. Swap legs, please. Take the other leg back, other leg forward. Give a little bit of a bounce. Shake your hips out. High rows. Lean forward. Chest lifted. Elbows move away from the body, and you release down. Lift, and lower. So that's the pace. So I'm gonna turn around now so you can see me from the front. This is the high row movement. So depending on how often you do this workout, I'm gonna try and do this three to four times a week. This is your high row. And just to show you a different vantage point with the narrow rows, the elbows are lower and you are squeezing your shoulder blades in towards each other as you pull back. Two more and one more. Fantastic. Shake it out. Triceps, back of the arm. Have a look. Stay in position. Leaning forward, chest up, soft knee in front. Elbows tuck in like birds' wings. Look up, forearms go back, extend, come back in, extend. So all that's moving here are the forearms, nothing else. You squeeze the back of the arms, you release on the way in. Squeeze, release, keep going, 
squeeze, release. Try and keep looking forward. Lovely. Last one on this side. Step it in. Swap legs, please. I'm going to do a second set facing forward. So you are leaning forward. The front knee is bent. Elbows to the side of the body. You extend away and you release back in. All that's moving are the forearms. The elbows stay still in space. Three more. Keep the chest open. Two more. And one more. Well done. Shake it out. Shoulder roll out, loosen up here. Right, biceps. From here, have your feet in line with your hips, or you can have one foot forward, one foot back. It's up to you, all right? Elbows tight to the side. From here, you lift, squeeze, halfway down, stop. You lift, halfway down. Focus on tightening the front of the arm. Contract the bicep muscle. Lift, lower halfway, lift. So from the side, this is your pace. You lift, squeeze, lower, tighten in. You lift, squeeze, release, squeeze. Excellent. Two more, please. And your last one. And then release. Bicep, triceps, fantastic. Place the weights on the chair or the cans or whatever you're using. A little bit aerobic now. We're gonna do a box step here just to get everything warmed up. From here, it is a wide, wide, narrow, narrow. It's out, out, in, in. Pick up the pace. Just loosening everything up. And again, you can add a little bit of a hop at the top, if you like, if you're feeling up to it, but that's entirely up to you. You can leave the hop out or you can add it at the top. Just to loosen everything up. Shake out your hands here for me. We've got chest and shoulders coming up. Last three, last two, last one. All right. Picking up the weights, the cans again, or again, you don't have to use anything. You can just use your body weight, all right? Just as good, just as effective. Start with the arms here, so the elbows are in line with the shoulders. Soften the knees from here. Squeeze, release. Squeeze in, release. So pectoral muscles work in here. Elbows just below breastbone as you squeeze in and release. Exhale, inhale back. Exhale as you come forward, inhale as you come back. Shake it out. Loosen everything up. Roll the hips here. Bend the knees. Go clockwise, go anti-clockwise. All right, from here, bring the arms up. Palms are facing down. We're gonna reach forward, pull back. Forward, pull back. So chest press, standing. You reach, slow on the way back. From the side, that's your pace. Shoulders stay neutral, so don't hunch the shoulders up. Pull back. Reach. Release. Reach. Release. Two more, please. Reach. Release. Last one. Take them down. Excellent. Give your hands a shake if you need to. Move your wrists. A last muscle group, shoulders. I'm gonna add in some balance here. That is just an option if you wanna do it. It is entirely up to you. All right, from the side, I'm demoing. One leg forward, one leg back. Do your balance, just loosen up. Elbows into the side of the ribcage, palms facing. Soft knees, reach it up. Lower down, soft knees, reach. Now you can keep doing this. For those of you who want to switch it up a little notch, you can lift the back leg up, lower down. 
lift, lower down, reach. Don't lock the elbows, reach, release, reach, release. One more, please, reach. Shake it out, swap to the other leg, please. This time around, I'm gonna demonstrate now. We have the arms there, we're gonna have them out here now. If this is uncomfortable, you repeat the narrow one, absolutely fine. Split stance with the feet. Soft knees, now we reach up, reach. Soften down, reach. So really focus on just gliding the arms up rather than locking the elbows. Shoulders stay relaxed. Exhale as you reach, inhale as you come down. Same rule applies if you want to. Back leg lifts up, softens down. So you're throwing in a bit of balance, a little bit of core here, reach. Lower down, reach, lower down. Fantastic, keep it going. Three more. Two more. Keeping the leg down, last one, one. And then release down. Shoulder roll out a little bit. Place the hands down. Check it out. Let's do one more session. Holding on to this, throw it up. Really grab with the hand here. Challenge yourself a little bit. Throw with the palm up, whoops. Throw with the palm down. The pause is not a problem. Just pick it up and keep going. Bend the knees. Two more. One more and release. Fantastic. March it out, everyone. We're almost there. We've worked that whole body now. We've worked the arms, the chest, upper back, shoulders, quads. We're going to do wide squats to finish. So for this, you have your toes out to the side, like ballet first position. This is going to hit the inner thighs again and the buttocks, all right? Core muscles, draw them in again. So we think of that corset from here. Before I say this, if this is uncomfortable, do a narrow squat which is obviously with the toes pointing forward. So you have that option of always taking it back if you need to, holding onto a chair if you need to. So lower down, reach it up. Draw the arms across, lift. Knees go side, chest is lifted. Reach, release. Squeeze your glutes, your buttocks at the top. Keep the pace. Just go as low as you feel comfortable. It's never a competition. Three more. Good work. Two more. Lift. One more. Shake it out. Excellent work. Do some hamstring curls here if it feels good. Shake out your hands. Loosen up the knees a little bit. Do some big moves here again with those legs if you feel up to it. Just loosen up and shake it out. All right. Shoulder roll out here. So that was just over 30 minutes and we've worked the whole body, all right? So we could do this maybe once a day, um, preferably in the afternoons when your body's a bit warmer, but if you're active, you've done some housework and you wanna do a bit more, throw it in, all right? Keep marching on the spot. We're gonna go into some stretches. All right, let's just put a stop to the music. So keep marching on the spot, shake it out. Okay, from here, widen your stance, soften your knees, bring the arms up, rotate around again, and just consciously check to see, do you feel a little bit looser than when you started? Do you feel you can rotate a little bit further now? You've sort of got the body moving. So just do a few of these, and then we go to the side again now, please. So we're gonna just reach side, just to flex over, and get the spine moving in its different directions. Sliding down, keeping the knees soft, and then releasing. Shake it out. All right, excellent. So we're gonna go into some um, stretches now. So again, you're welcome to hold onto a chair if you need to, 
or do them freestanding. I'd like you to bring, I'm going to demonstrate from the side, bring one leg forward, sink your hips back, and allow yourself to feel the stretch of the leg that's extended out. You can keep the foot flat, or you can lift the toes up a little bit here, but feel the hamstring pulling quite effectively there. And just breathe into it. Try not to hold your breath in stretches. It just creates tension through the body. Just breathe into it. Arms can be side, or hands can rest lightly on the bent leg. Shoulders soft. Coming up, soft to the other leg, bend your knee, sink your hips back, look up. Arm side again, or hands on bent leg. I'm changing my position now so you can see me from the front. Chest is lifted, arms are out, or resting lightly on the bent leg, or one hand on a chair if you need to, or a wall. Feel it through the back of the leg. And then slowly come up, shake it out, shoulder roll out. From here, we're going to be standing on one leg. So again, this is balanced, but of course, so we haven't let go of the core yet. Some of you will need potentially to have a chair there or a wall. If you have a knee issue or a hip or an injury, please listen to my instructions. Option one, just bend the knee. Now remain here and focus on lifting up out of the waist. This is absolutely fantastic. The second option, if you have socks on or a shoe, you can hold on and draw in or hold on to the ankle and lift. So again, chest is lifted. You can stand free side, look up. So I'm gonna demonstrate from the front. Hopefully you're still doing it. Same leg for me, lifting up out of the waist. Knees together. Holding these for about 30 seconds to a minute, depending on how you're feeling. And then release, shake it out. Just move your ankle here a little bit, just roll them out. Shake it out, same rule applies, opposite leg. Bend, remain here. If you are someone who prefers to wear shoes, that's absolutely fine. Um, you can hold on to the back of the shoe if you like and draw it in, um, or just remain here and focus on lifting, hips in line, or gently grab hold around the ankle and lift. So the lift up, this leg needs to be rock solid, like a lamppost. So this is how you don't do it. You're not hunching down like this, or letting the knee do this. That's putting in a lot of danger. Just focus on lifting and be safe. Remain here if it feels safer for you today. So think of the options and then release. Just roll the ankle here a little bit, shake out the toes, shake out the legs, give them a little bit of a whirl here. Upper body stretches and calf stretches. Take one leg out behind you, bend your front knee. Now from here, Hips are square and facing forward, all right? Push the back heel down, bend the front knee, feel the stretch of the back calf. Interlock your fingers, drop your chin, and just round the upper back and shoulders. Push down into the back heel. From here, release the hands, step it in, take the other leg out. Hips square. So from here, I'm going to face forward so you can see my hips. So they're not twisting to the side, they're facing directly ahead of you, including your feet. Push down into the back heel. Open up the chest, either here, just lifting up, or place your hands into your jeans pockets, or you can interlock your fingers and draw the shoulder blades in and breathe into that. Hold the stretch if you're in it. I'm going to demonstrate from the back so you can see the position of the arms. So it's here, option one, option two, just in the jeans pockets, option three, interlock and draw away. And then release, step it in, shake it out, give yourself a little bit of a shake out. Shoulder roll out again here. If it feels good, 
Just do some rounding here and then some opening and some kind of rounding forward. So you can do a little more of a dynamic stretch if it feels good, just to loosen up. Loosen up the neck, breathe into it, and then release. Okay, from here, drop the shoulders back and down. If you have blood pressure issues, I would suggest you keep the arms down here and flex to the side and remain here. If you're okay, you can reach the arm up and flex over to the side. So you're lifting out of the waist here and feeling a lovely stretch of the side of the body. Slowly release, round the hips, reach the arms up, flex over. And just release the arm down. Let's finish with three deep breaths in now. So, standing tall, coming back to that strong posture. Breathe in, exhale out, and again, deep breath in, reach arms up, exhale out, one more, and release. Well done, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, that was a, about 40 minutes worth of strength training. Uh, I'm going to keep the um, content coming on the YouTube, Central YMCA YouTube Facebook page. There are also, if you are on Facebook, um, the YMCA Facebook page, they are doing some live classes, slightly higher intensity, but if you want to have a go, um, check out the Facebook page for times of classes, etc. Um, and keep in touch with us. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you think. If you'd like some more classes of the same type of thing, um, or just so I know. Um, I've done another class today, which is floor-based stretching. So um, again, I'm planning on doing a, another Zumba, and I'll be doing a chair-based stretch session as well. But please let me know what you kind of want to see more of, because I'm conscious that some of you uh, you know, want to keep moving from what I've, the feedback I've got. So I'm trying to make them as varied as possible. But stay safe. Thank you for watching and for um, taking part. I hope you enjoyed it. Please look after yourselves. Um, I can't wait to see you all again. Uh, I'm really missing, I'm sure like everyone is day-to-day uh, -day life, but missing seeing everyone coming out of the club. Um, but yeah, take care and I will see you in the next video. Have a lovely rest of your Sunday evening. Thank you very much. Let's see how I stop this now. Bye, everyone.